So here we are again, Mr. Cookit here, aka Zach Reading, and we're going to talk about making spice blends. Why? You can find them in the grocery store. Lemon pepper seasoning, steak seasoning, taco spice, ranch dressing seasoning. Why make your own? Well, because if you look at the label on them, there's ingredients in there like preservatives and caking agents and monosodium glutamate, MSG, and a bunch of other stuff that's not the spices. And it's kind of hard to figure out what spices are in each different blend because obviously the spice company isn't going to give you the full ingredients list of what they use. So we're going to make two different spices that are big culprits for these ingredients. The first one is a taco seasoning mix. This makes enough for about one pound of ground beef with about three quarters cup water, just like you would use a packet of taco seasoning without all the extra gunk in it. So the first thing you'll need, I have all my, my spices already pre-measured and set up right here. So I'll tell you what each one of them is. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and throw in is about uh, one tablespoon of chili powder. Already done, right there. The next thing we're gonna throw in about a tablespoon of cumin. Add in is one teaspoon of garlic powder mixed with one teaspoon of onion powder. It's always good to have these items on hand anyway. Um, so it should be relatively easy to make for you guys. The next thing we're going to go ahead and add in is one teaspoon of oregano. It can be oregano leaves or oregano leaf powder. Either way is fine. Uh, when it's in the meat, it's really not going to make a difference anyway. The next thing we're going to go ahead and throw in is about half a teaspoon of coriander. You might think, why coriander? Coriander is used in Indian food. Well, coriander and cumin are good friends. So just a little bit of coriander to help the cumin bring out more of its own flavor and give you more of a taco spicy flavor. Uh, the next thing is optional, and it's about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you don't like things too spicy, you can go ahead and throw in black pepper. There's that. Finally, last but not least, got to have some salt to flavor that meat up. So we're going to throw in about a tablespoon of kosher salt. If you have regular granulated salt at home, that's fine. Take your whisk. It might seem like overkill, but you really want to blend those seasonings together. Mix it together for about, oh, I don't know, about 10 seconds or so, not too long. And again, this makes enough for about a pound, maybe even up to a pound and a half of, of ground meat. There it is right there. It's a little lighter in color, dropped a little bit. That's okay, we got plenty more left. The next item we're gonna make is a Cajun spice. This will make um, enough to last you a little bit, use as needed. The first thing we're gonna go ahead and throw in is about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Cajun spice is spicy, so we're throwing in a whole teaspoon. About a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. Again, you might think Indian spice, but it adds some color here and a little bit of extra flavor. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric. A quarter teaspoon of ground mustard for a little bit of tang. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Half a teaspoon of thyme. Could also be ground thyme is fine. Half a teaspoon of oregano. Same thing, could use ground oregano as well. One whole teaspoon of cumin. And I have here both half a teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Blend that together. These are great to be stored for about up to six months in an airtight container. You can also freeze them if you want to and they'll last for about a year. And there you go. So that's Cajun spice, that's taco spice. No other crap. Hope this information helps. Peace out.